Named for Centrum's Tripathia Archipelago, the Tripathia-class third-rate ship of the line is one of the most venerable and well-respected warship designs ever to serve with a Centrum Defence Force. The vessel was introduced in 284 PCU, six years prior to the outbreak of the Frontier War, and across the course of the conflict became the most commonly employed capital ship in assembly service, frequently leading smaller flotillas into battle, and forming the bulk of most CDF battle lines in large-scale fleet engagements. At a length of 261 metres and a width of 61.7 metres, the Tripathia class bears the classic lozenge-shaped frame of a Centron warship, with its armoured hull stretched between full-sized arrays of both prograde and retrograde engines for direct and immediate adjustments of velocity. Carrying a standard crew complement of 270 and a force of 50 CMC Marines, the Tripathia class was briefly the Assembly's largest warship in the few years of peacetime after its launch, with no second or first-rate vessel having seen service since Halpern's War in the 170s. The weapons arsenal of the Tripathia class includes 12 turreted medium gun emplacements, each equipped with a pair of broadhead lock 15-inch coil guns. These powerful weapons are supported by four retractable Sponson batteries, each loaded with twin-barreled Bodkin Lock light-duty coil guns that offer an improved rate of fire at close range. Finally, the ship's chase armament consists of four retractable Bodkin Lock bow chasers and four retractable stern chasers of the same type, allowing the Tripathia to continue engaging whilst in pursuit of a hostile vessel or while withdrawing from action. As with almost every Centron warship model, the Tripathia class is designed to serve a very specific role within a battle group, in this case that of a simple and uncomplicated gun platform, meant to give and absorb fire across the length of a battle. As a result, the ship lacks built-in point defence systems or missile weapons, instead relying on a symbiotic relationship with accompanying corvettes and destroyers to form a resilient and versatile combat unit. Though certainly not designed to fill the role of a carrier, the impressive size of the Tripathia class nevertheless allows the vessel to carry a small air wing. The ship's through-deck launch bay runs across the breadth of the forward hull and contains storage and maintenance facilities for six S-36 Stardancer multi-role fighters, as well as three Fletcher TS longboats for personnel transportation and marine deployment. The ship's small flight of Stardancers is generally used for short-range missile defence, but can also be employed in a light attack or reconnaissance role. Being frequently used in long-term deployments, often far from safe harbour, the Tripathia class is equipped with an amidships centrifuge hab, made up of four modules that collectively house the vessel's living quarters and recreational facilities for the crew. These hubs are naturally unsafe to use in combat or while under acceleration, and as such are designed to retract into the ship's frame and seamlessly link their compartments with the thrust gravity deck arrangement used across the rest of the ship. The forward hull structure houses the ship's quarterdeck and other command facilities beneath a layer of secondary armour, as well as the vessel's magazines and gun decks, whereas the aft quarter of the frame plays host to the ship's main propellant tanks and engine room. The Tripathia class saw action in almost all of the most significant engagements of the Frontier War, and has remained in service in small numbers even after the conclusion of the conflict. To this day, the veteran ship of the line remains an enduring symbol of classic Centron warship design and a spectre of fear to any pirate or brigand unfortunate enough to face her in battle.